Alright everybody, how's it going and welcome back to the channel. Now, right back has been a real problem position for Manchester United over the last couple of seasons. Arguably, that position seen the least amount of investment ever since Sir Alex Ferguson left the club back in 2013. With United having to make do with converted bang average wingers playing in that position rather than right back specialists. But if United are wanting to get back among the elite in the Premier League and begin competing both domestically and in Europe, the right back spot is a position that is in desperate need of some adequate replacements coming in. So these are my five right backs I think United should be looking at this summer to bring in at Old Trafford. And number one is Aaron Wambasaka of Crystal Palace, who's taken the Premier League by storm over the last 18 months. Ever since emerging from the Palace Youth Academy into the first team, he's quickly emerged as one of, if not the best, fullbacks in the Premier League currently. He's fantastic in the tackle and not many players get past him, making more challenges than any other defender this season, 68 and winning a whopping 70% of those challenges. He's not bad on the ball either, having a 73% pass completion rate this season and also grabbing himself three assists, which makes him one of the most complete all-round fullbacks doing the rounds in Europe currently. And with a lot of clubs sniffing around him this summer, United need to be one of those and given the gaping hole in that right spot of United's defence, they need to be targeting players of wan quality to come in and bring that experience in the Premier League along with massive amounts of boosting quality in that position. And number two is David Calabria of AC Milan, who over the last couple of seasons has really broke through that youth academy at the San Siro and really begun to solidify his place as a key component at the back four for AC Milan. He really does like a challenge making the second most challenges in the entire Serie A and winning 64% of them and also winning 55% of his duels as well. Re that tenacity that he showed in those tackles could really lend itself so nicely to being a massive part of this, this high-pressing and counter-attacking side that we saw early on under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. He's looking at utilising that style on a more permanent basis Calabria could be a really key addition and relatively cheap when you compare some of the other prices going on in Europe that could easily slot in and be real effective on that right back spot for United's defence. And number three is Matt Doherty of Wolves who's had a fantastic season helping Wolves on the return to the Premier League secure seventh place in Europa League football for this forthcoming season. He's produced well-rounded figures this season chipping in with five assists and creating 1.09 chances per game for this Wolves side. But it's not all about attacking with, with the Irishman. He's also good defensively, winning 6.7 of his duels per game as well. And it could signify a really low-risk signing for United to bring the Irishman to Old Trafford and could really help bring some much-needed balance to that right side of United's defence. And number four is Nazara Mazarawi of Ajax, who has gone under the radar a little bit with, under this impressive Ajax side, what with the likes of Dilit, Frankie de Jong, Ziyech, Van der Beek, etc., all taking the plaudits from the impressive Amsterdam outfit this season. But Mazarawi has still been solid and looked really impressive on the right-hand side of the Ajax defence. He does like to get forward and affect things further up the pitch, and the adventurous fullback has done some decent numbers in the final third as well, chipping in with four assists and scoring four goals himself this season for the Amsterdam outfit. He's very comfortable on the ball as well, boasting an 87% pass completion rate and a 74% success rate from his dribbles as well. So he does like to get forward. He does like to affect things in the final third. And with United lacking that in recent weeks, that outlet in the final third from the fullbacks, both left and right, Mazarawi could be a really key addition in helping United unlock defences from those wide areas if we were to sign him from Ajax this season. And number four is Willian of Wolfsburg, who's really impressed ever since he's made the move from his native Brazil to the Bundesliga outfit. But this season has really been a standout season for the Brazilian, leading the Bundesliga in interceptions, 
win, intercepting the ball 68 times and making the second most tackles in the entire league in 47. He's decent on the ball as well, having a 74% pass completion rate this season with 3.5 clearances per game as well, which means he not only can win the ball back, he's not only confident on the ball, he's happy to get that ball out of defence and down the other end of the pitch, relieving pressure on him and the rest of his defenders. He's also decent in the challenges as well, winning 53% of his duels. He's a combative right fullback that is decent on the ball and would bring, again, some much-needed balance and much-needed defensive stability to that right-hand side of United's defence if we were to go in for him this summer. So those are my five options who I think United should be looking at to fill that gaping hole on the right-hand side of United's defence. They're not in any sort of order, but let's be honest, any one of those five is ten times better than seeing Ashley Young line up there at the start of next season. So let me know who you think out of those five we should be targeting the most and also let me know in the comments section what position you'd like me to do another one of these on next time but if you've enjoyed this bang a like on the video hit that subscribe button just want to say a massive thank you to everybody who's subscribed as of late had a massive boost in subscribers so really appreciate that make sure to go and follow me on twitter as well at fudgy underscore fc i've got a lot more content coming up on the channel so make sure to stick around and i'll catch you guys next time yeah.